Hi, how are you doing? It's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and what I've got for you today is a quick course walk around the National Hunt Jump Circuit at Lingfield Park. They hold around seven or eight jumps meetings a year at Lingfield and I thought it would be useful to do a course walk and just show the characteristics of the course at Lingfield. It's quite a testing course, quite undulating, left-handed um, and there are six hurdles in a circuit and nine chase fences. The hurdles are usually positioned on the inside um, and the chase fences you can see here are on the outside. So the chase fences will still be up as we do the course walk. I actually did this walk in the middle of March, uh, the week after the last of the National Hunt meetings was held at Lingfield. So you'll see the ch chase fences are still up, um, but some of them have been taken down and all the hurdles have been removed when I did the walk because they're preparing for the flat season on the turf at the moment. So let's start the video and as I walk round I'll show you some of the characteristics. We're starting from the finish line here as you can see and this is a gentle rise round this bottom corner. So as you come round this bend here it's quite a nice um, galloping bend but it is definitely noticeable that it's moving uphill as you come round here. Now the chase, fen the chase course is the outside and the hurdles course is on the inside here. That's one thing to notice. So as you come round this top bend, you're sort of coming up gently uphill the whole way round here um, as you approach the first of the chase fences, which you can see ahead of you here on the right. Um, the first hurdle is actually about equal with this um, with the first of the chase fences and then there's a second hurdle further down the back straight. Now as you come round this bend you start to come to the peak, come to the top of the of the uh, gentle climb and then all the way down this back straight is actually downhill. So the horses are jumping downhill here so they get quite a bit of pace on down the back here. So it does require good jumping because they're coming into these fences fairly fast. Um, as you can see, I'm pointing out there that the chase fences are on the outside and that the hurdles are on the inside. So as we move down the back straight, you'll see we go past one, two, three and four chase fences on the right. So there's four chase fences down the right there, um, down the back, the back straight. And then we come to the bottom of the hill here and start to swing around left-handed into the bottom. Now this is where it can become very testing, obviously being the lowest point of the course, it's where the, um, where the water gathers the most. Um, and so it's very testing in the winter down here. I've walked this in the winter um, when there'd been quite a bit of rain and it does get very deep down here. So you can see you're approaching the fifth of the chase fences here. I'll just move the map up slightly for us. And now we're starting to climb uphill again. And we go past fence six as we're coming uphill. So they actually jump that fence coming uphill. Um, so a different test for the horses and you can see it is quite pronounced um, is the gradient here. It's quite a steep part of the track coming up here and you'll come to the top around here. Here we are just approaching the summit now. You can see the fence is actually bowing downwards there um, and so we're just approaching the top of this gradient and then it's quite a sharp downhill stretch here. You can see I'm looking around here and you'll be able to see the um, the grandstand in the distance. Just over here where these buildings are, that's the hotel and the grandstand. So we're at the highest point of the course here. And then we come downhill onto the home straight and around this sharper, this is the sharpest part of the track. Um, and you can see we've moved away from the all-weather. We sort of tracked the all-weather course for the majority of this and then we head out into the country for a bit before swinging round and back in onto the home straight here. And then obviously this is the turf straight course that they use at Lingfield in the summer months. 
So we swing round onto the level here. And then you can see where I'm pointing these the horses have to head over to the right if they're on the chase course to take these last three chase fences. So that's a total of nine chase fences and um, before they head to the finish line, or there's the two final hurdles as they come down the um down the home straight here. Fairly flat home straight all the way to the finish line here. As you can see, it's fairly flat all the way in from there. That's from the final fence. Uh, it makes the, I'd say the uh, chase track being on the outside is probably a furlong longer than the um, hurdles track on the inside. It's about one mile four furlongs around here, but I think the chase track measures around one mile five furlongs um, over the nine fences. So quite a, a test for horses um, and certainly a stamina test in the winter when it can get quite heavy. Um, but uh, a decent test for horses all year round, I'd say. And then you just straight in, as you can see, that crowd are at the finish line ahead and we get to the finish line there. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight into Lingfield Park's round national hunt course. Um, I'll just recap that there's a gentle climb around this um, top bend here until you come to the top here and then there's a long back straight over the fences down the back here until you come to the lowest point of the course in this bottom corner and then you start to climb up and it's quite a sharp climb as we saw just then to this point here which is the highest point of the course and then you sort of swing round quite a sharp bend here and then the horses will either go to the right if they're on the chase course over the last of the chase fences or they go straight down this side uh, over the final two hurdles to the finish line. So hopefully that's given you a bit of understanding about Lingfield Park, a bit of insight into the characteristics of the round course there and how testing it is in winter for National Hunt Jumps Racing. Okay, take care and I'll talk to you soon.